Springtime in Southern Nevada. Look at that. Okay, so you just bought your first shotgun, pump shotgun, and it's either 20 gauge or 12 gauge. But uh, I have a 12 gauge here. We're going to go over it. I'm going to I'm going to show you how to basically operate the shotgun. How to load it, how to aim it. We're going to talk about chokes. We're going to talk about ammunition. And I'll give you a couple of recommendations. I do want to say, though, that I've been shooting shotguns since the early 70s when my dad took me out rabbit hunting, dove hunting. So I've been shooting them for almost 50 years. Got a lot of shotgun videos on YouTube. Some of you guys that have watched a lot of my uh, videos, you know I, I love a pump shotgun. This is a Mossberg 590. Um, so if you just bought a new shotgun, most likely it's either a Mossberg 500 or a Remington 870, two of the most popular shotguns in the country. If you bought a different brand, that's okay because most of these pump shotguns, they kind of all work about the same. So we're going to go over how to load it, what ammo to use, we're going to talk about chokes, and um, not really going to get into accessories except one right here. This is a uh, Tackstar side saddle, holds six or four rounds as you can see. You can also get it that will hold six rounds. So let's get set up and uh, get started. Okay, first things first. My shotgun is unloaded. Okay, there's no round in the chamber and there are no rounds in the magazine. Let me show you that again. You can look in there, hopefully you can see that. There is not a round in there, okay? And I have a plunger right here. There's also no ma uh, rounds in the magazine. Now, if I was to See that right there? Now if I if I was to rack this right now, I uh, would chamber that round and I don't want to do that, so I'm going to take it back out. So we have a butt stock. We have the receiver. We have the barrel. This one has a heat shield on it. And we have a magazine tube right here. Trigger, of course. And this one has a front bead on it, right here. Some shotguns will have uh, iron sights, like on a rifle. Those mainly are for uh, shooting slugs. Now, let's talk about the safety. If, if you have a Mossberg 500, your safety is going to be right here. Now, this is on safe. If I flick it up and I see that red dot, this shotgun is ready to fire. So I'm going to keep it on safe. Now, if you have a, a Remington or most any other shotgun, you're going to have a safety right behind the trigger. Some shotguns might have a safety in the in front of the trigger right here. Okay, let's talk about real quick how you're going to load this. I want to check the chamber on this to make sure it's not loaded, but it won't open. And that's because the hammer is cocked and it's ready to fire. So, in order to release this, I have two options. I can pull the trigger, which I don't want to do because I'm not sure if it's loaded or not. So you don't want to do that. But there is a little button right here called the bolt release. Right there. If I push that up, now I can open up my action, make sure it's unloaded, and I can close it. Now I can put rounds in my magazine. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm just going to take my shells and just shove them in just like that. Now if I want to shoot this, all I have to do, again it's locked, so I'm going to push my little bolt release and I'm going to and I'm going to aim or I'm actually going to point. I'm going to take the safety off and bam, the shotgun will fire. I don't want to shoot it right now. So to take this loaded round out, I'm just going to open this up real easy and I can pull that round out. I'm going to close the act action, make sure no round goes in there, and bam, I have an unloaded chamber, I have my safety on, and again, if I want to shoot this, all I have to do is push that bolt release, rack it, and I can fire, and then I can just keep on shooting until 
my uh, magazine is empty. Okay, next I want to talk about choke. Choke is the amount of constriction at the end of uh, your muzzle. Now, you know, most shotgun shells have pellets. You can either have tiny pellets in that shell or you can have big fat ones. But what a choke is going to do is determine the pattern of those pellets at a certain distance. And the three most common chokes are improved cylinder, modified, and full choke. A full choke is going to constrict the very end of that muzzle. And so if I want to shoot a target at 40 or 50 yards, I would use a full choke. If my target is going to be up close, then I want to use an improved cylinder, maybe even a, a modified. Now if you have a tactical shotgun or a home defense shotgun, most likely it's not going to take screw-in chokes like this one here. They're, uh, this is just an improved cylinder. There's no way to change that. The only way I can change that is to buy a new barrel. So, most likely you have improved cylinder if you have a uh, tactical or home defense shotgun like this one. Now let me give you another example. This choke right here is improved cylinder. You can see this, this nut driver fits in there real easy. Here's my full choke and as you can see it's got quite a bit of constriction to it. So again that's going to keep my pattern nice and tight at a longer distance. Okay, let's talk about ammo. You know, the nice thing about a pump shotgun, man, there is just a huge variety of ammo that you can uh, put through a pump shotgun. Let's talk about chamber, though. Most modern shotguns have a three inch chamber, which means you can shoot um, many shells like this one here. You can shoot a two and three quarter inch shell, or you can shoot a three inch. Now you can also get a shotgun with a three and a half inch chamber, but we're not going to really cover that because that's a shotgun designed for uh, turkey hunters, guys that hunt geese. So three and a half, uh, we won't even go any further on that. So again, here is a mini shell and just a cute little guy. I'm not going to talk too much about this because I just did a, a video review on these mini shells and I will put a link to that video at the very end of this video. And the most common shell out there is two and three quarters. Now if you measure that, it does not measure two and three quarter inches. At least not until you shoot it. Once you fire this and that mouth opens up, then it becomes two and three quarter inch. And you can also shoot a three inch. Now, if you're just getting into shotguns, I would recommend right now staying away from a three inch. And uh, they do have a lot of recoil. And I'll show you some video here shortly of my son shooting a couple of three inch Magnum shells. Let's take a look at some uh, shotgun shells here and we'll cut them open and, and see what's inside of them. But here I have a box of seven and a half shot. These are very small pellets. We have one and one eighth ounce at 1200 feet per second, two and three quarter, and 12 gauge. These are used mainly for uh, small game, birds, uh, rabbits, but this is what one looks like cut open. You can see it has a whole bunch of pellets in it. Okay, next let's take a look at some four shot. Now these are bigger pellets, and this is that shell right here. Now I like four shot. I actually keep these loaded in my shotgun for uh, home defense. These things are pretty devastating. Again, I will, I'll shoot a couple of these here very shortly. All right, here's my favorite right here, buckshot. This is double odd buckshot. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. You can see the, sh the pellets in there. There's, there's nine pellets in here. They're 33 caliber. Now on a three inch buckshot like this, there's 15 pellets. But again, look at that, that's pretty cool. And I don't think I need to cut one of these open since you can see them right here. All right, now we're gonna take a look at a slug. See that, that is just one, uh, 
one pellet in here or actually a slug this is one ounce and uh, let me cut one open so you can see what that looks like and we'll shoot one of these here very shortly all right anyways let's uh, let's get this shotgun loaded and put a few rounds through it okay I have one gallon of water set up and I'm gonna shoot it with this four shot again this is what I like to keep in my shotgun for home defense yeah tell me that won't hurt Yep, that will certainly uh, do the job. Okay, next I'm going to fire a slug at this cinder block. This thing is heavy, and uh, I think you might be impressed what that slug does to it. Okay, one ounce slug. Three inch magnum buckshot, five gallons of water. Damn, that thing kicks. How was that? Oh. That hurt? That smarts a little bit. Those three inch magnum buckshots, they pack a kick. You know, when it comes to a, a self defense shotgun, most guys are going to keep the magazine loaded so in the middle of the night they can jump up, grab their shotgun chamber around, and bam, they are ready to, to defend themselves. Now, if you're not comfortable leaving rounds in the magazine, and, and that's fine if you don't. I fully understand. The solution to that is make sure you get a side saddle, okay? You notice my shells are a little staggered. I'll show you why here in a second, but middle of the night, grab your shotgun, open it up, take around, and just slap it right in there. You don't have to feed it into the chamber. Again, just take your shell, slap it in there, and it is ready to fire. Now let me, let me show you, I'm going to shoot a couple of rounds and show you how quick that can actually be. Something to consider if you don't want to keep rounds in your magazine. Okay, let me show you how to field strip this and, and most pump shotguns are pretty much the same. Make sure the shotgun is unloaded. Bring the bolt back. Make sure the safety's on. All you have to do is take off the magazine cap right here, at the very end of the magazine. And the barrel should come right off. Just like that. Now I can clean uh, the face of my bolt and I can clean my barrel. That's really as far as you want to take it down.
Well guys, I think that's about it. Hopefully uh, you was able to learn something. But I do appreciate you watching my video. But watch this all the way to the very end because I'm going to have a couple links to those mini shells and probably another shotgun video. Uh, probably this one right here. So check that out. And if you would, go to Patreon, throw me a couple bucks so I can keep making these videos. But in the meantime, guys, stay safe. And we'll see you next time.